is is arrogance and, and sort of hubris an element of, or a, a characteristic of, of the left hemisphere? Well, it is in the sense that um, high self-esteem, feeling that everything is fine when it isn't, uh, tends to be a left hemisphere tendency. And uh, the behaviour that I described uh, that Dunning and Kruger uh, researched, i.e. blindness to your own failings, seems to be allied, as I went on to say, to a sense that I have a system which is always right and this is the way to do it. So a kind of too great degree of belief is always a bad thing. Some degree of hesitancy is rational because most things we deal with are not simple mechanisms. Um, if, if you're mending a toy, then there may be a simple mechanism. But if you're living a life, and particularly if you're thinking about what's good for society, you're dealing with something massively complex that cannot, in principle, ever be modelled, and the outcome of which you do not know in advance. So it's quite irrational to take steps in a very linear way. This is what we do. We're going to ban this. We're going to make that happen without thinking about the overall impact and the downside of everything you do, because everything has a downside. A lovely thing Alan Watts said is that we want mountains without valleys, but you have to have both, quite clearly. Yeah. And, and we, we don't see that everything has a downside. There's nothing so good that more and more and more of it is always better, and there's nothing so bad that a little of it might actually work some good.